We didn't know how long she had left. She was rapidly deteriorating. I absolutely could not leave her. It's okay. Luckily, one of our volunteers was right there with the net, and they got her. And she was very docile once we got her. Oh, those people are positive. One sec, don't pull it too hard. Let's get them untangled. There you go. Okay. We packed her into a kennel, and we basically just convoyed down to my house. I know, it's okay. And we're like, all right, we gotta figure out how to get this bucket off your head. So we had one volunteer holding the bucket, and we had another one holding her back. Luckily, it popped off pretty fast. She basically walked to a corner of the garage and just laid down and wasn't interested in interacting with us. Luckily, beyond being extremely dehydrated and emaciated, she was in pretty good health. The decision to place her into foster care came when our veterinarian gave us the all clear. For a long time at our foster's home, she just stayed in the bathroom. Some of the struggles that Winnie had at the beginning was just really being unsure of her surroundings. It's a good girl. She really didn't care to willingly put herself around people. Eventually, she realized dog beds are comfortable. She discovered couches and was like, oh, this is better too. It took her time to learn that people are okay. She clearly wants to interact with people, but she's still so unsure. So she has this whole full body wiggle going. Really? Being in a foster home with other animals, she was able to witness animals receiving love and attention from people. The foster really worked with her to slowly get her out of her shell and have her come out and interact with people. Eventually, she did start seeking human interaction from people that she was comfortable with. We knew that whatever home we have to send her to needs to be the right one because she still was dealing with healing and trusting people. She was in our care for about two and a half months before we flew her off island. When we picked up Winnie, Winnie was as far back in the crate as she possibly could be. She was very, very terrified. She didn't even know how to play with dogs. But she and Maple really started warming up to each other. They have formed an attachment that I don't see in any of our other dogs. She watched Maple to see how Maple behaved with everybody. And slowly, she's building that trust with people and other dogs. She is definitely part of a pack now. She's come so far.